16.8 watch hours and then I gained 5,600 subscribers from it and I made Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing like a day in the life of a YouTuber. I also do video editing on the side and I just started to do background acting. So I thought what a better video to take you guys along and just kind of show you my work and what it's like working for yourself and how that all goes, like what I do during my days. And I thought that it would be just like really interesting if you're coming from an outside perspective and wanna know what a YouTuber with almost 30 thousand subscribers does in a day and what that looks like i know i've shown it like a bit here and there in the vlogs but i've maybe done one dedicated video for it i don't really remember probably have done one but i figured that this would be super interesting to do an updated one at least i'm gonna read you guys out like my tasks that i gotta do today so that you guys can get an idea of my day so it's currently monday for reference so it's 9 a.m right now and i woke up an hour ago so i woke up at 8 the first thing that i did was i did like my morning practices and then my first task of the day was just i just wanted to clean my room so i just did that and then for my work stuff today i gotta finish editing my youtube video for today upload it get the thumbnail done and then i have to edit another vlog that i filmed last week as well and i have to submit it to the company because it has a sponsorship in it so i got to make sure that i do that today because if i do it any later then it's going to delay the video but i need that video to go up this week if that makes sense and i also have to do my video editing job i have to edit at least one youtube video for them today and if possible i'll do more but you never really know how long something is going to take you so i don't like to over shoot my shot i just will kind of write down things that i know i could get done and then leave the rest to see how much time i have left so yeah i'm going to take you guys along just for the next couple days i think or a few days i think this video is going to be really interesting so stay tuned also i used to just like wake up out of bed in my pajamas and just work in my pajamas but i found that changing into loungewear i know it's like almost the same as pajamas but just changing into loungewear makes you just feel so much more put together and it makes the biggest difference for me and just even just like brushing through my hair and doing those little things that is going to make me feel more put together to work versus just being lazy in my pajamas it makes the biggest difference so this is just the fit that i threw on today it's just a silk sports bra with these really flowy pants that still make me feel so freaking comfortable but it also just makes me feel and look somewhat more put together than me wearing pajama shorts and a big loose t-shirt <laughs> Okay, so I just finally finished the video for today. It's uploading and now I got to make the thumbnail. It's 12.55 right now, so pretty much one o'clock. After I take the video, I'll take like a whole bunch of photos that I can choose from to make the thumbnail. So I'll quickly like screen record my screen so you guys can see what I do to make a thumbnail. Obviously every thumbnail is a little bit different. So the way that I make it every single time varies, but I'll just show you guys how I make this one. This is gonna be a little bit more simple than my usual thumbnails just because it's just like a sit down talking video. So these thumbnails are usually the easiest to make, which is very convenient. So I first just pick my favorite photo and I think I'm gonna go with this one yeah i think i'm gonna go with this one and then i go like i click the square button and then i go up here 16 by 9 which is like the dimensions for a thumbnail so i fix that and that should be about right and then i just use literally the iphone editing so i'll turn down the highlights contrast make it just vibrant fun tractable okay so i managed to get the photo pretty good this is the original this is the after on the iphone editing they honestly improved so much and i just i literally edit all my photos on the iphone editing okay so now that we've done that i'm gonna go into fonto and upload the photo and i'm just gonna write something on it since this video is about manifestation i'm gonna write the words across i'm just gonna write manifestation i think across so i'm just gonna give you guys a quick time lapse of what i'm doing here Okay. 
Okay, YouTube videos uploaded, thumbnails in, it's going up in an hour. Um, I always post my videos at three, so I just schedule them. And now I'm just gonna go straight into editing for work. I'm just gonna do the video that I need to get done so I can just get that out of the way before I start editing my next vlog. So it's currently 2.17, just for a timestamp. Okay, so it is currently 6.30, update on my work. I finished my first YouTube video. I did half of the video I needed to get done for work and I did half or I'd say three quarters of my second YouTube video that I need to get done by tonight. But I had to quickly do my makeup just now because it's my brother's birthday dinner with like just our family. So gotta go attend that downstairs. So we're taking a break, but afterwards I'm gonna have to go back to editing because I'm just feel like I'm so behind. And I think the reason why I'm so behind is because of it just being summer and I'm kind of having a little too much fun and I've just been slacking a little bit. So that is why I have so much shit to do but it's okay we're gonna get back on track this week it's all gonna be good it'll be fine but yeah i'll talk to you guys when i do more work later and hopefully get everything done today and tomorrow i need to wake up at like 8 a.m because i need to go for a covid test because on wednesday i have a casting for the background movie thing that i'm doing so it's gonna be really cool to take you guys along to that in this vlog because technically it is like work related so hey guys so it is currently 12 15 and i just finished editing the vlog that i needed to get done but you know we're powering through i gotta wake up early tomorrow and drive far but it's fine we're fine we're doing great um this is all my fault that this is very delayed so i can't complain but it is currently uploading right now and as soon as it's done uploading i need to send the unlisted link to the sponsor of the video so that they could approve it for wednesday and that's why i needed to get it done by tonight so that they could approve it in time for wednesday i just wanted to not cut it too close so i just hope that they could approve the video by tomorrow so that i can schedule it and then it's all good to go for wednesday but yeah i'm gonna get ready for bed while it's finishing to upload and then i'm gonna go right to bed because i'm so tired but yeah that's a little update i mean it's amazing working for yourself but when you don't have set hours you catch yourself working at like 12 a.m but we love it <laughs> wouldn't trade it for anything else i really wouldn't okay i'm gonna go to bed after i send the link see you tomorrow okay guys so i went to go get covid tested this morning for the movie set got tested at 9 40 and then i didn't leave until like 10 30 and i just got home at around 11 30 because it was an hour away so it's one o'clock right now and i'm gonna get started on my work i just had like a nice breakfast settled down for the morning did my morning stuff that i needed to get done because literally i just woke up and left so we're gonna start the work day official work day right now the show that i'm going to be background acting for tomorrow does pay you to do a covid test obviously because like you're driving all the way there so technically i was working this morning because i went to go get the test so technically i did get paid so the video that i sent in at 12 o'clock last night did not i didn't receive any email back from the sponsorship so i'm still waiting on that i hope they get back to me but just in case i'm going to make sure to film and edit and submit my princess polly haul today so that if the first sponsorship doesn't get approved by tomorrow i think princess polly is going to be very fast to reply to me because they've been replying to my emails really fast so i hope that the princess polly one will be like a backup plan for tomorrow in case the vlog doesn't get approved until the end of the week so we got backup options so i have to film the princess polly haul today i have to edit the princess polly haul oh god i also have to take a photo for it shit the princess polly haul cannot go live unless i post a photo like i have to post a photo at the same time that the video goes live when in doubt i have to post it tomorrow i have to have that photo ready and i don't have a photo shit Oh god. Okay, gotta think about that one. But I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just going to, because I told you guys that I needed to get a video for work done yesterday and I only did half of it. I only ended up getting half of it done yesterday. So I'm going to get the other half done right now and hopefully I can get the other video that I need to get done as well for work. Hopefully I can get those banged out by today. And then... 
tomorrow the thing is is that i can't work tomorrow because i'm gonna be gone all day they didn't even give me the call time yet because apparently you don't get that until like very last minute like i could i might only be getting it by tonight like what time i need to be there tomorrow and stuff like all the details like i don't have any details so yeah i'm not gonna be able to do anything tomorrow so i need to get shit done today i also before i start working on like my own stuff i have to go online and submit some stuff for the agency tomorrow quickly so i'm gonna do that before anything because i know i'm gonna forget if i don't do it now we got a lot on our plate okay let's see what i need to do i just got an email from them and now my wi-fi is not working come on wi-fi girl it wasn't working yesterday and we had to like reboot the whole thing so we get really bad wi-fi in my area because i kind of live in a rural area and the wi-fi just is kind of shitty out here i mean i'm not going to complain because at least we do have wi-fi but sometimes it could be just really like slow and stuff okay so the wi-fi started working and i I think I did everything I needed to do for tomorrow. I mean, the COVID stuff makes it so confusing. Get just so much, <laughs> so much like extra hassle with all the COVID stuff. Got to make an account on this health thing, submit a photo, like do all this stuff, put my info in, because obviously I'm gonna be getting my test results, so I need to see that. But I think I did everything. I hope I did. This is like my first time doing all this stuff, so it kind of seems a little confusing and overwhelming, but I feel like I'm fine. I feel like I did everything, so I guess we'll see. But now I'm just gonna work on the video that I didn't finish yesterday I'm just gonna do the other half of it and then go from there But I'm definitely gonna make myself a coffee right now because I need the energy <laughs> Okay, so it is currently 3.30. Coffee's all down in the gutter. I'm feeling way more weak now. So I just finished the video that I needed to get done for work. I'm just uploading it right now to the drive. And I think what I'm gonna do now just to get it out of the way is film the Princess Polly haul real quick instead of doing the other video for work just to give myself a little bit of a different task to do instead of just sitting in front of my computer like i've been for the past couple hours before i do that i'm just going to reply to some comments on my newest video because i always like to get back to you guys for leaving such sweet and nice comments i try my best to reply to them all because i just really appreciate your guys's comments so i definitely like if you take time out of your day to re to say something nice on my video i definitely want to give back to you and reply to your comment or at least like your comment and notice it so that is what i'm going to do right now because i try and do it like right away after the video just went live but this video went live yesterday and i replied to like the first batch of comments when it first went live but then like the day got busy and i haven't looked back on it yet so now i'm just gonna look at the newest comments and reply to those so important to build like a relationship with your audience and i don't know what i would do if i wasn't replying to your comments like i feel like that's just so rude i mean i totally get it if like you're like a huge youtuber and you get multiple multiple thousands of comments a day like that's just impossible to reply to everybody but i definitely want to try and make the best effort that i could to at least reply to as many of you as i can because i appreciate your guys's comments and support on my videos so much and i just want to do whatever i can to get back So I feel like my sit down videos do way worse like views wise than my vlogs like my vlogs do way better and the video that I just posted yesterday was a manifesting video so it shows that it's 10 out of like ranking by views 10 out of 10 so it's actually like my worst viewed video within the past 10 videos that I've posted if that makes sense so let me guys know do you like the sit down videos should i just do vlogs because it's just hard to do three vlogs a week because if i did three vlogs a week i'd have to be literally vlogging every single day of the week and i just don't have the ammo to do that because i'm not doing anything interesting that often if that makes sense and i do still want to post three times a week and yeah i don't know let me know down below if you guys like my sit down videos if i should do less of them because i've been trying to post like once one of them a week but i don't know i personally like them so i'm gonna do what i want and not like base it obviously off of other people's opinions but it's just cool to know if you guys like them and what you think of them and if you want to see more less but yeah in the end i am just gonna do what i want to do and feel in the moment but 
it's also cool to know other people's like opinions and what you guys are thinking since you're my audience and I obviously want to make content that you love as well but yeah that's just like the reality of posting videos is that you're gonna have some videos that are gonna attract a larger audience and do a lot better than other videos and it's just really interesting to see what kind of videos do better what kind of videos do worse and some videos will get like just like do regular at the start and then they'll totally pick up like even it could be like a month later they'll start getting like a bunch of views and it's just weird how the algorithm works and how some videos can blow up like a month after you posted them so a lot of the time it's not really initially that they're gonna blow up sometimes that is the case but that's never happened to me like all my videos that have blown up and got a lot of views have got a lot of views a couple weeks or like a month after posting it it really just went up i'll try and find like a graph to show you guys what i mean on one of my videos that did really well on this recent video the one that was like how to be that girl i'll show you guys the statistics on it so you guys can just get an idea so it got 200,000 views it was published um 16.8 watch hours and then i gained 5,600 subscribers from it and i made 900 dollars from this video and i guess this was kind of a gradual increase but as you can see in the beginning it wasn't very doing well and then it just boom it just like went up like that so it's also really cool because you can literally go into the statistics and see the top geographic um, from the video like the age range how many are not subscribed so 96.6 people who watched this video weren't subscribed and only 3.4 were which is crazy and yeah on a normal video that's not blown up there's like obviously more people that are subscribed like the ratio is way larger it's like 80 percent subscribed and like 20 percent not subscribed so yeah it's just interesting um, i might make like a more in-depth video later on about like youtube and everything and how that algorithm works but i don't think i'm going to do that until a little later on until i'm really got it figured out because it's almost impossible to fully figure the algorithm out but right now i'm just posting what i want to do what makes me feel good and i'm not trying to necessarily follow all of the trends um, obviously if there is a trend that I want to do then I'll do it but if it's not something I'm interested in I'm not gonna try and fake a video and just do it to get views because I'm in this for the long run and I want to make sure that my audience likes me and my content rather than just subscribe for me for a trendy video yeah even though your growth process might be slower doing it that way in the long run it's gonna benefit you a lot more so and I feel like as I keep doing YouTube and gain experience I'll like collect more tips and stuff for you guys that I can eventually make like a giant whole video and explain everything. But right now, I just don't feel like I'm 100% ready to do that yet because I haven't obviously figured it out 100% yet. So I'm just gonna wait until I'm a little more confident. Anyways, I'm just looking through my email, my business email real quick and this subscriber said that they're a huge fan and they're a sub and they linked their Spotify and they want me to check out their music to put in my video. So I'm just gonna listen to that real quick and get back to them. I check my emails around like twice a day. But yeah, as for sponsorship, at my subscriber count, it can be a little bit difficult just because pe people and companies wanna take advantage of me and they don't wanna pay my real price. So it's also kind of difficult figuring that out and negotiating and there's just so much really that goes into it but if you guys are a youtuber and an influencer just make sure that you guys are getting what you're worth because companies will try to take advantage of you and pay you way below what you're worth because they think that you're not smart but you got to educate yourself so that you know what you're worth okay so i'm about to film my princess polly haul and i thought that i'd give you guys a behind the scenes how i clear my filming space how i'm setting up over here so as you can see it's a mess and i want to film in front of here and i want to put the clothing rack here beside me move the mirror and shift some things but I need to close the closet so that hide all this shove a couple things in here so this is what I do to compromise when I'm not gonna clean fully um, these outfits are for my casting tomorrow it pisses me off because this drawer it just doesn't close it's not like there's anything necessarily really in the way I don't think it just it just doesn't yeah there's nothing in the way it literally just doesn't properly shut like it doesn't stay shut but um i think that's good enough for now gotta move all this shit so i just removed this painting just because i wanted just to have like a more clean clear background here and i'm gonna move the yoga mat okay so now the mirror's out of the way can you guys still see it no okay it's just over there i'm gonna walk the clothing rack over here and put it here gotta get the ring light 
So this is the ammo here for the haul. Everything is opposite. I'm going to reposition this probably when I actually set the camera up to get the angles right. I already had everything put on the clothing rack because whenever a company sends me clothing, I like to put it on my clothing rack so that I know that I need to get this filmed and done. So it's just kind of a reminder sitting there every day. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over this camera to this bigger tripod because this guy extends so that's what i need for this video okay i'm gonna put this i'm gonna change the tripods out right now because right now i just have like a tiny ass tripod okay so i'm switched over to my g7x because obviously <clears throat> i'm going to be using this big guy for filming right now so i'm just on my mini camera so this is the setup that we have so far i'm just gonna adjust some things get a chair in get the ring light in and i'm gonna set this camera up so you guys can see that little montage Okay, so now I just figured out the angles. I have everything in place. The ring light and the camera are perfectly placed right now. So the last thing right before filming that I do is I'll just touch my makeup up or put on makeup. So timestamp, it's currently 4.30. Makeup touch up is done. Now I just gotta change the outfit. Let's commence the filming. Hello you guys, welcome to another video. Okay guys, so I just finished the like talking part of the video and now I'm doing a try on haul. I have my camera set up, I have my phone set up on a tripod as well because I need to take photos for the thumbnail and I also need to get obviously content for the try on portion. So we got two tripods going on and a ring light. So this is my little phone set up and then this is my camera set up. I love how literally there's junk that I just shot behind the camera, it's kind of funny. But I feel like it's relatable. So yeah, this is me right now. I'll give you guys a little bit of a montage. You guys can see. Okay guys, it is currently 7.30 and I just finished filming. Everything is done. My room is still a mess, but that's fine. We'll take care of it. So I just got the email and the information about tomorrow. So I'm just going to read over all of it and make sure that I'm prepared for tomorrow because it's my first time doing background acting and I'm actually nervous. Like honestly, I'm nervous just because I just don't know what to expect. It's kind of scary just because it's my first time and I don't know what I'm walking into. So that's the only thing that's making me feel a little uneasy. It'll be fine because when I do more and more i'll get more used to it and stuff so it's fine but i am feeling a bit uneasy and nervous right now to be honest not gonna lie i'm just happy that the filming is done i'm just gonna look over the paperwork right now and then i will update you guys later if it's anything work related here's the first bit i got a double backpack that i'm going to bring and yeah Hey guys, so I just got here and I have no idea where to go right now. Like I don't even know if I'm in the right parking lot. So I'm gonna go out and try and figure it out because I'm a little stressed, but I know it'll be fine. I just have to go and figure it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got here really early, so thank God. Hey guys, so it is the next day, the day after I went to do the background acting and what a freaking cool experience it was. We did an 11 hour day, so I was there at 10 and we didn't wrap until 9. So it was a very long haul, but it was like the best experience. I met some really amazing people, made some new friends. Yeah, it was just super fun and they used us more than I thought that they would. Like I actually was going back and forth from the holding room to set and I know that's not that common because a lot of the times you'll just be sitting for the whole time so they actually did get good use out of us which was good because it wasn't boring really like there was never a time where I was necessarily bored until it veered towards the end and I was just getting really tired but the one thing that was miserable about it was I was wearing heels the whole day at least when I was on set I would switch between my sneakers and heels but when I was on set they were making me walk like back and forth for the shot and oh my god I was in the most uncomfortable heels of course and my feet were killing me like my toes were literally swollen i've recuperated now we're fine but i literally came home took my makeup off oh my god it was just disgusting i just went right to bed and i got the best sleep ever but overall 
it was such a cool experience and I can make like a whole other separate video on it because this is not what the video is about but this is a working video so I just wanted to like incorporate that so yeah yesterday I was gone the whole day didn't do anything but that so for yesterday's video I was telling you guys that I was awaiting the sponsor and they have not gotten back to me about the video yet so yesterday I had to take the sponsored portion out of the video and replace it with something else for yesterday's video which was fine but now I'm gonna have to make a new video for them and just pop that sponsored portion in that video which kind of is shitty but it's fine I'll work around it video that I'm doing with princess Polly is going up tomorrow and I need to finish editing it today submit it so that I can get verified for tomorrow and then I also I'm going to shoot the Instagram photo today as well yeah so I have editing to do right now that I'm gonna get done I'm just I just want to finish the video first thing the princess Polly so I can submit it and then make sure to get that photo done today as well so that's like on my priority list today and then in between those gaps all i'm gonna do some work for my editing job but yeah i'm going to go work outside right now because we got new couches and for now our old couches are on the deck because we just haven't moved them yet and it's kind of low-key fire having our couches on the deck because it's so comfortable just to sit out there now and so i'm gonna go work outside on the couch um which is actually really nice and edit that princess polly video and yeah i'll let you guys know when i finish that because it's probably gonna take me a hot minute so oh let's Let's get editing. <laughs> So I finished my makeup and this is gonna be the fit for the shoot. I'm gonna put on some heels and literally just shoot on my couch, I think. We'll see how that turns out. I mean, yeah, we'll see. Never really done any, anything like it before, but I think it should be fine. So gotta get it done before three, so we gotta power through. Okay, so I got like everything set up. I got my ring light. I got like a selfie tripod in case I wanna do that by myself. But first of all, I'm just gonna get Joel to shoot the photos just because that makes it a lot easier. So since he's here, I'm gonna use him. I am working right now. Okay, so I just finished picking up the photos, editing them, and now they're ready to post, and it's currently one o'clock, so I have like two hours until I need to post them. And yeah, I'm just gonna take these heels off right now, get changed into something more comfortable, and clean this up. Yes, I got my ring light out, I got some random shit on the floor, bought the extension cord, and then do some editing work. Because I really wanna get Monday's video up for next week as well as doing some of my editing work. Because as I think I told you guys, um, next week I have, oh, I don't think I did. I got a gig again and it's for two days in a row. So I'm gonna be missing two days out of the week next week. So I'm gonna be completely gone for the f two full days. So I definitely need to work the weekend just so I can get ahead for the week so that I'm not stressing out and so that I can upload still three times a week because uploading three times a week is actually really hard. It's just like you always have to be filming. You always have to be coming up with ideas to film and it is very, very difficult. It's, it would be very difficult to work like a full-time job and do it i don't even think that would be possible because it would just become you would just get burnt out because so much work does go into youtube and i feel like a lot of people brush it off as like oh it's so easy and yes it is very enjoyable at least for me and it is fairly easy tasks to do but there's also like the creative side of it where people don't realize like you really got to be creative and you always have to be on that creative flow or else you're not going to know what to post and you have to create your content like you don't just go in for work and then people give you work to do it's like the opposite like you have to create your own work like you have to think of the videos to film you have to create things to do to vlog and that's what's difficult about it is the creativity part if you're not like a creative person it's would be like very hard to keep thinking of video ideas and just like things to film in general so you definitely have to have that creative aspect of it and it can get difficult at times um, i'm not complaining or saying it's difficult overall but i'm just saying that like it is like a real job to have and a lot of people don't notice that like and don't see behind the scenes about like you got to be answering emails and there's like business deals and it's like owning your own business which it literally is so yeah even though i'm not like a super big creator obviously um i'm trying to get there so i want to keep posting consistently three times a week for as long as possible i mean i don't see myself ever cutting down i want to be as consistent as possible so i do get the results and i know that if i stay consistent even though it might take a while of pushing through i know i will be 
successful and consistency is key um, and I'm just gonna keep being myself in front of the camera and you know do what makes me happy and I know that I'll get there one day I'm not rushing it because if there's no point of rushing it that'll just make things worse and that just means you're not trusting the process and I just want to try and enjoy my journey as much as possible even though I do have goals to achieve and that I want to achieve I still am trying to really just enjoy the process and not rush anything because everything comes in due time and I completely believe that that everything will happen when it's supposed to happen and I know that I'll get there when I'm supposed to get there and when I'm ready to get there so very happy where I'm at right now and I just have to stay consistent so that's where I'm at with everything right now obviously it would be amazing to do this as a completely full-time thing technically I could do it full-time but having the editing job and like obviously helps and I'm not going to turn that down because I make really good money doing that um so right now I'm obviously still going to be keeping that because it does help a lot Thank <laughs> you.